In Lycoming's second building, the rocker arms are machined in preparation for installation on the engine. This manufacturing process represents a continuing effort by Lycoming to insource parts production, bringing more jobs back to our hometown in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Lycoming's rocker arm production process is built in a cell format, meaning every employee who works in the cell can complete all tasks required to manufacture these parts. In 2004, the Mazak 4-axis CNC mill was purchased to increase efficiency in the processing of rocker arms by completing the initial machining at a rapid pace with high accuracy. The start of the production begins with rocker arm forgings being placed in fixtures for processing. After one cycle, each rocker arm is reoriented by a production associate and different features are machined. Then each part is deburred and hand inspected by a Lycoming employee for any wear that would make the part unusable. Every approved rocker arm is marked with a specific part number and the date it was processed. This helps Lycoming manage traceability for quality control purposes. The part is then sent into heat treatment for hardening to help prevent wear over time. To start the finishing processes, Lycoming employees pass the rocker arm through a series of machines that grind the internal diameter, sides of bosses, and the shoe radius, all within tolerances of less than three thousandths of an inch. At every step, Lycoming employees inspect each part to ensure that it fits within the close tolerance standards that Lycoming sets for each part placed in an engine. Even the smallest deviation can lead to the part being scrapped. This cell produces 10 different types of rocker arms to support the full range of Lycoming engines and all of our customers' engine needs.